Hi, I'm Kevin Hall, CEO of Global Integration. We are an ideas, consulting and training company that specializes in people management in complex, matrixed, virtual and global organizations. I'd like to share with you some of our ideas on working in these very complex organizations. In this video, I want to share some tips on working across time zones. Working across time zones is a reality for anyone who's part of a global team or organization. If you sit in conference calls late at night or get calls or emails at all hours, you know what a challenge this can be. And time zones are a reality that it's not going to go away unless we all move to a single time zone like China. We just need to learn to work around them. In this video, I'm going to talk about the seven key principles of working across time zones. The first principle is simply to be aware. There's absolutely no excuse for those calls that arrive saying, how are you this morning, when it's late in the evening. We're all aware, or should be, at some level, that that 10 a.m. conference call we organized in San Francisco is already 6 p.m. in London and 1 a.m. the following day in Singapore, but it's easy to forget. It's the height of bad manners to routinely ask people to give up their evenings and weekends for meetings and calls that are not absolutely critical. The best way to keep visibility on time zones is to have a world clock on your laptop, your iPad or wherever. This will help keep visibility that people are on different time zones. If you have an iPhone or iPad, you can download our time zone meeting planner from the Apple Store. The second principle is to avoid time zones where you can. If you can organize to carry out activities within one time zone or ones that are much closer together, it's much easier than in time zones where there's no overlap in normal working hours. The third principle is that it's always local time if you do things locally. The more you can delegate authority to people on the spot, the easier it is to manage across time zones. If people need to escalate or seek input from someone in another time zone, then this introduces delay, extra cost and dissatisfaction. The fourth principle, to quote Louis Armstrong, is to take all the time in the world. If you have a global team that operates across all time zones, this can be a huge advantage. You can pass on work intelligently and have people working 24 hours a day on critical issues. So use the opportunities that time zones give you to accelerate your ability to solve problems and deliver results. Principle number five when you're working across time zones is to try and organize as if it was a relay race rather than a rowing team. In a rowing team, everyone has to be in the same boat at the same time. Now, if you work this way, then you have no choice but to organize conference calls and meetings where everyone needs to be available and present. And as we've seen, there is no single right time to do this around the world. If you organize as a relay race, however, you just need individuals to have some overlap to allow the handing on of work from one to the other. This is much simpler to organize and less intrusive of people's evenings and free time. Principle six is to be careful to manage your own personal accessibility. It's very tempting to be available to your team 24 hours a day, seven days a week. But this is not a sustainable way of working and may actually be a sign that you're micromanaging them. So set some clear guidelines in your team about accessibility. When can you be called and when not? And make sure to protect your personal time and particularly your vacations. Finally, my seventh principle is to share the pain. If you do have a regular conference call or web meeting, why not rotate the timing so that it's not always at the most inconvenient time for the people furthest away from the center, which is what tends to happen in reality. It is surprising how that essential conference call at midday does not seem worth running in the middle of your night. It might help you eliminate low added value regular calls. So remember, time zones are a reality that's not going to go away. If we manage them badly, we can cause a lot of frustration. We just need to get organized to take account of this reality of time zones in the way we work. I hope these seven principles help. You can find out more about them in my book, Speed Lead. To find out more about our global leadership training, together with more free videos, articles, and podcasts on matrix, virtual, and global working, please visit us 
at global-integration.com. Thank you for watching and good luck.